It's on wheels. It's a service millions of our most vulnerable depend on. And tonight, that lifeline could be in jeopardy. President Donald Trump is looking to make cuts in funding for two government groups that fund Meals on Wheels. Now, in Erie County alone, about 7,000 residents currently receive a meal. In 2016, Meals on Wheels served 1.6 million meals across the county. And by 2020, it is predicted that one in four Erie County residents will be served by Meals on Wheels. Congressman Chris Collins recognizes just how important this organization is to the lives of so many people here in Western New York. He opposes any budget cuts that would slash funding to that program. Meals and Wheels is a wonderful program. Well, it, it is one I would never that's good vote to, to cut even one dollar. And it's not just lawmakers who are up in arms over these funding cuts. We're also hearing strong reaction from both the community and members of Meals on Wheels itself. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley shares their stories tonight. How would it hurt you if the program got cut back? Well, it would hurt me because I wouldn't eat as much. Seniors who rely on Meals on Wheels are very worried about President Trump's proposed skinny budget. It calls for cutting billions of dollars from government departments that provide federal funding for Meals on Wheels. I don't feel good at all. People need to eat. The cuts would not put Meals on Wheels out of business, but it would make it very hard to handle the growing need. If this federal money gets cut, um, you know, 19% of our budget is a very big hole to fill. I, I do not honestly know how we would fill it. Thousands of seniors rely on Meals on Wheels every week. And it is people like these ladies who brave all sorts of challenging weather conditions to make sure the food is delivered. But the program delivers more than just food. It also provides a security check. We find clients in distress every single week. For housebound seniors like this Buffalo man who needed help to open his food, it also provides social interaction. So it's going to make it harder for us to do everything that we do. The Trump blueprint is not the final budget, and it does not include specifics. But it makes clear that the president plans to cut funding for programs that have not demonstrated results. So for them to say that Meals on Wheels is a program that isn't proven to work is true truly inaccurate, and it's a draconian way to try to save dollars. The Meals on Wheels organization is also organizing a nationwide effort to fight against any funding cuts. More on that at 6 o'clock. In Buffalo, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. Ed, thank you very much.